Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Elix. As we are here in the Cleric's... Fanatic land. Yeah, they're Fanatic land over here. So, um, we're we only got... Betray them. <laughs> we are, we're going to betray them. So, yeah, we only got one comment on whether we should continue joining them. Uh, and they're saying that, yeah, the uh, high-tech gear seems like it would be worth it. I kind of agree. Um, plus, I, with my other playthrough, I'll probably go Berserker. Uh, so, yeah. I think it would be fun to go go with the clerics, even if they are a bit fucking bananas. Cray, cray. Yep. All right. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we're actually... Um, as you guys see, I'm trying to talk to everybody, and there's a reason for that. I'm trying to find the fucking trainers, guys. Uh, in my current playthrough, I've played, like hours less than we have played here and i am far more powerful than we are like i'm fighting albs right now guys and killing like four or five albs at a time uh and i played a lot less time wise so we are way underpowered and part of that is because we don't have any skills we need the trainers so uh, i don't know where the trainers are here and i don't want to talk to any more people because everybody wants to talk to you for like an hour so I know, right yeah and they just repeat themselves so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a place where i know where all the trainers are located uh, so we're going to go back over here to Tavar. It's just a little fast travel away, guys. Let's fast travel over there, and let's get ourselves trained up. Uh, because, yeah, we have seven skill points right now. And, and no skills. Yeah, we have zero skills. We haven't seen it put a single point into skills yet. Uh, because last time we, we met a trainer, we weren't even able to. Uh, so, yeah, it's about time, guys. I know where all the trainers are here. I believe I do anyway. <laughs> uh, I'll just wander around trying to find them. Uh, but I, I, another thing here in Tavar is that we didn't talk to any of the district leaders here. There's, like, every district has, like, a uh, like a leader to it. And we didn't talk to a single one of we them. We just talked to the Duke. Yep, the Duke. That's the we only just one. thought he was the only one to talk to. Well, we had all those, you know, they named, when we first got here, they named all the, those characters mm -hmm. or whatever. We're um, like, whatever, they don't seem important. Yeah, okay, so... The Duke, got it. Gonna talk to that guy. <laughs> yeah, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is... Uh, the first one, and I, I'm shocked that we missed. Uh, uh, that guy's Does headless. that guy... He does not have a head. That's fucking crazy. Okay, it's the headless horseman. All right, so that one of the it's first guys... Into shit and everything. Yeah, that we didn't talk to was this guy. This is William. Um, this is uh, the Duke's brother, oh. and and everything's still loading up, as you can see here. They're having <laughs> some issues here. Uh, but I think we should talk to him just because of... you got to listen to this guy's voice actor. Okay. Well, excellent. Another desert fly landing here thinking he's found something for free. You're just lucky you aren't a berserker. I hate those forest rats. They're almost as much trouble as the clerics. You have problems with clerics? Berserker, cleric? <laughs> They're both trying to squeeze us out of Tavar. They want to take us out. One needs men, and the other wants our land. Who wants your men? The clerics are short of new recruits. Didn't you know that? But they can forget getting them from here. They're not getting a single man while I'm here to stop them. I am William. I am the Duke's cousin. The Duke is in charge around here, and I'm going to make sure he stays in charge. We are outlaws. You need a new guard at the North Gate. Why? What happened? Spike is dead. And I can imagine why. That ass was always too greedy. We'd better find a replacement quickly. Look for Ike, and tell him he has Spike's job. He's normally somewhere around the arena. It shouldn't be difficult to find him. Are you sure you have everything under control here? Only an idiot thinks they have complete control of anything. This is about stopping all the little crises becoming big ones. And I have one small crisis that I can use an outsider to solve. What do you need my help for? I need someone who isn't on the radar when it comes to the district overseers. Some of them are pissed about something. I need someone to deal with that. About these district overseers. Who are they? There's Big Jim. He's in charge of the arena. Chloe, she manages the entertainment district. Then there's Mad Bob. He calls himself the Scrap Baron. And you'd better call him that. People don't call him Mad Bob to his face. Ever. And there's Blake. He takes care of things that need taken care of. They've all earned their place, all proven themselves loyal. But they all have their little problems, and they all want more. 
Tell me about Chloe. Chloe owns her cut of the takings. That's not like her to skip paying her tribute. She knows she's lucky to have the position she has. So I need an outsider to make her pay up. It's a little more diplomatic coming from someone from the outside. And I need someone who isn't scared Chloe will shut them out of the entertainment district. Ask her for the shards and find out why she's not been paying. If you can't manage that, at least make sure she pays her outstanding debts. What about Blake? Say, are you even listening to me? Blake is the only overseer who doesn't make trouble here. He takes care of his own interests and does what people tell him. I only wish they were all like that. Tell me about Big Jim. Big Jim. Good fighter. He's kept the arena turning a profit. Only now he's beaten everyone who's challenged him. He thinks he's invulnerable. I've even heard rumors he's claiming he will take over from the Duke. I always knew his ego would be his undoing. I should want him dead. Instead, I want you to fight him. He needs his ego deflating. You're to fight in the name of the Duke. And make sure that you teach Big Jim a lesson before I have to shut him up permanently. What is the problem with Mad Bob? Mad Bob, yeah. That is its own chapter. He oversees the scrap deliveries to the fort. They are a big source of profit. Only now there isn't any scrap coming in, and I don't know why. The desert might be dry of water, but there's no way it's dry of scrap. Speak to him and find out what's happening. I'm afraid he isn't delivering because nobody will work for him. But maybe it's something else. If you can get Mad Bob to start making deliveries again, I promise that will earn you a good reward. I will look into the problems you're having. That's what I wanted to hear. I run things for the Duke. Get things to move along more smoothly? Well, the Duke doesn't forget people who show him loyalty. Let me know how things go. Why did you kill Iron Madison? She deserved to die. I did you a favor. You can't just kill our people. She was that important to you? So what? You want to piss on me and tell me it's raining? You don't get to decide what's important to me and what's not. Trust me, I did you a favor. Maybe, maybe. She certainly wasn't a supporter of mine. Unless you have something else to tell me. All right, so it seems that William was angry about us killing uh, uh, Iron Madison. Madison. Yeah, does it sound like the uh, the dialogue's a little bit messed up? I don't know if that's on our end, our end or something, like with our sound bar. I don't know. I think it always sounds like that. Maybe. Maybe I just didn't notice. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, what I think we're going to do is we're going to do some quests because that's the problem with this playthrough uh, that we've been doing is we haven't been doing enough quests. We've been doing, you know, far too much roaming around fighting creatures, and that's not how you level up in this game. So what, what we're going to do, uh, we need to train up, and we're going to need money for that. So let's Thanks. sell our shit. Um, we're going to sell to yeah. this guy. We'll also take a look, see if he has any. Uh, I think he has a really cool hood. Yeah, the black leather cow. Nice. That's plus one armor. We do lose the... Oh, yeah, we're going to lose the resistance. I forgot we had that mask That's on. That's a low price. All right. Um, I guess we're probably going to keep what we have then. I like that resistance. It's nice having that. What's but it's that? not as cool looking. No, it's not. It's, it's not ladies. true. You're very, yep, you're very correct, Jinx. It's not going to get us the ladies. Um, do we have any weapons to sell? No. Um, we got shit. Yeah, we don't have shit in here. Uh, we have some sulfur nuggets. I'll we'll sell those. Uh, let's just take a look and see if we have any uh, other things that we can sell here. We're going to need a lot of money. We actually have quite a bit. Uh, but, yeah, getting trained is pretty expensive overall. Isn't it always? Getting trained oh, geez, up? Jeez, man. All right, just here we got some feathers. Tell me your secrets. I don't want to pay all that fucking money. <laughs> yeah, that's always the case. It's always really expensive because uh, in most games, you're getting trained up on things you could do naturally. Uh, but in this game, that's not the case. In this game, you know, we're, uh, I'm gonna sell this shit. I don't see us needing any of this. Yeah. We're unlocking shit we couldn't do otherwise. Yeah, it's the only way to do it is by unlocking it. Supply so. and demand, I guess. Alright, so all of this shit. Oh, we're gonna sell our broom. I'm sweeping for us. <laughs> All right, now we got a bunch of silverware and shit, don't we? You were collecting. Yeah. Did you give up on that collection? Yeah, I'm giving up on it. We don't need to do that anymore. 
just get rid of most of this stuff here. I don't think we're going to need. These are all old world just stuff. Sell it all. Oops. I just sold the... Well, we don't make a lifeline anyway. It's a chem. <laughs> it's fine, guys. It's fine. I'm not going to oh, buy it back. Oh, is that a recipe? Yeah, a recipe, but it's to a chem that we don't even use, so... Uh, it is fine. We're not we're not outlaws, so we're not gonna be using too many chems. Uh, I think both of the other factions don't like when you use chems. All right, let's just see if they have anything we want to buy. Um, I don't see anything other than that black leather cow, which does look cool. Um, I, I suppose we can get it. Is that what you want to get, Jinx? I don't care. Do you want to get that, or do you want to continue wearing the mask? I mean, because we don't really run into poison radiation that often, so the armor might be sure, better. Sure. Sure. Yeah. We'll buy that, uh, and then we'll sell the the mask that we have. The protective mask. All right, excellent. Uh, I believe that's all we need to do here. Let's go and complete the trade, and then we'll put this really cool looking hood on. I can find it here in the inventory. Um, oops, cover wrong up spot. That ugly mug. It doesn't cover up your face though. It's just. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a cowl. Look at that. Ooh, it I doesn't really it fit. Looks stupid with your outfit. Yeah, it doesn't really fit with the outfit. Um, good to see you. All right. Well, we need a new outfit. What goods good do you got? We're gonna see what weapons he has as well while what we're here. Shade? See if he's got anything that we could we could rock. Um, yeah, I want his shades as well, Jinx. Uh, none of these are all that good. Uh, what about this one? Uh, we're quite a distance away from Bill, and I wouldn't use that. No point on buying it. All right. He doesn't have anything. Let's get out of here. All right. So one thing we could also do here to level up. And that's part of one of those quests that we just got, was we could fight in the arena, Jinx. Yeah. You want to fight in the arena? Smack some people around? Sure. Yeah, one of the guys who, um, the guy he wanted us to assign to as the gate guard, mm -hmm. he's one of the fighters. Uh, so, yeah, we got to talk to him anyways. I bet you can use those oil lamps, too. You think so? Like, walk around with them? Yeah. Maybe. I guess we'd take a look. That would be useful to know um, if we can use them as a light. Uh, a lamp might be better. Anyways, where where the hell would that be at? Uh, tools? No, because it's not in tools, like oh, the magnesium torches. Okay, fine. Yeah, I think that has just been classified wrong as junk, and I think it's supposed to be classified as a, to as a tool. All right, so this is one of the district leaders. This is Big Jim. He runs the arena district here. So let's have a chat. A drink. Where are you going to sit in his lap? to eat. And not just beans. Give me something decent. Well... What are you waiting for? Go get it. Get it yourself. Are you on chems or just dumb? Do as I say or I'll shove your head so far up your ass you'll be kissing your own tonsils. Give me a drink. Give me some food. Get them for me now. Doing that would be a good move on your part. You'll want me to owe you a favor when all my plans come together. What plans? What plans? What do you think, I'm stupid? You think I'm gonna tell you that? The Duke might be in charge now, but he won't be running things forever. Someday, someone is gonna take his place. And when they do, you'll want them to be a friend of yours. Is that so? Defeating Baxter doesn't make him immortal. The Duke might have the fort now, but remember, no one thought Baxter could be overthrown, and where is Baxter now? So you want to replace the Duke? Look at me and tell me I wouldn't make a better leader. And once I roll, Nasty will be at my side as my war leader, working closely with each other. <laughs> Very closely. And we could use someone like you. Or are you all talk? Come on, get the drink, take the deal. The future is waiting for you. You should start listening to people in the know, or you're gonna get left behind. About the arena. Who can I challenge? Me, if you got the balls. Then there's Ike and Gunn. You might find a few others, if you think you got what it takes. So I can challenge you? Not until you've proved yourself by fighting Ike and Gunn. And you'll need to be working for the Duke while he's in charge. Only outlaws get to fight me. What makes you think you can take over from the Duke? Focus, discipline, and power. I'm focused on my goals, 
disciplined in my focus, and I focus on my goals. And my goal is power. And my secret weapon? I'm a people person. Unlike the Duke, people love me. They can see I'm a winner. They know I have enough followers to sweep the other factions from Magalan. Believe in the Big Jim plan and feel the power inside you. And, for early adopters, I'm offering a stack of grenades as a special gift. If I can get someone to make them. Get one of your guys to make your grenades. Them? All I can trust them to make is a crater. What do you do here? I'm Big Jim. Big Jim. I own the arena here. People shit in their pants when they hear they have to face me. And that means people won't cross the Duke if it risks them ending up in the arena with me. And the Duke knows the arena will earn him shards because people want to see me. Teach me something. Yeah. Alright, so that's what I was trying to do. I knew we had to say something to him to, in order to get him to uh, let us uh, train with him. So let's go ahead and put up our melee weapons. That's going to be huge. I know that somebody was saying in the comments that it's only a 10% increase. Uh, but a 10% increase when you do 30-something damage, that's like 3 damage. And that's what most of our weapons increase by. So I don't know why you wouldn't bother putting. You need everything you can get. Uh, every little bit of help you can get. We can also put up grenades. We don't use grenades enough to really warrant that. We will put up attack strength, though. Do that. Um, so what do you think of Big Jim? Um, he's interesting. <laughs> so, Jinx, as soon as we walk up here, are we going to sit in his lap? <laughs> well, you look like you were about to sit down. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we we're going to sit in his, we're going to sit on his, uh, he does look like Santa, doesn't he? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, we're going to ask for some presents for Christmas. All right, so I think we should fight in the arena. This is one of the guys we can fight. Um, however, we're not going to listen to what he says because I don't, I don't really care, guys. He looks and, like a loser. And the, we can take him. Yeah, they, they are all kind of challenging, uh, especially that guy, the big gym guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. He I is, mean, he is the leader. Yeah, he is difficult. We're not going to listen to him. No, we're just going to skip through this guy. Um because yeah, he doesn't say anything really interesting. He slap the glasses right off his face. Yeah, he all he uh, he just wants to rip us off. He's just one of those type of dudes. So um, whatever. I'm just trying to fight you. <laughs> all right, I challenge you to fight in the arena. Me. Yes, I want to risk it. All right, so this should get us a little bit of experience here, um, and we only get one chance. What we should probably do here. Um, is save it right before we fight him. Just in case we lose, because you can only fight somebody once. Oh, really? Yeah. What happens if you lose? You don't get to fight him again. Oh, they just, and you just smack about you? Well, then you, you ruin the arena chain. So oh. if you lose to one of them, Big Jim won't fight you, which means you won't be able to finish this chain of, uh, you know, become the champion of the arena. Shit, that sucks. Yeah, so I you definitely want to save it. They warn it. They, luckily, they do warn you that they tell you, hey, that once See, I'm never going to fight you again. It. So. Oh. All right, so we're going to go over here and fight this guy in the arena. Hopefully, we do well. Um, and we'll get our weapon out first. Do a little bit of sneaking. Oops. The world is watching. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so Ray will wait outside. He can't join us in the fight, of course. Makes sense. All right, come on. Let's get it on. Let's see if you're worthy of the respect you want. Of course I'm worthy. Ready. All right. Fight. Yep, and he comes out swinging hard. Holy shit. Yeah. And I didn't have my weapon out for whatever reason. <laughs> Could have swore I had it out, didn't I? It's such a tiny <clears throat> arena. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we are not yeah. doing well. Not really. Oh, I, mean, I don't I have any stamina. I guess we could be doing worse. I mean, yeah, you can see how much damage we do with each hit. It's not going to take that many hits, but we got to, like, stop getting hit here. Yeah. But how? It's so tiny. It's okay. We got this, Jason. There's nowhere to go. You can't jetpack away from anybody. Sure you can. <laughs> That's one of the tricks. You gotta use that jetpack, guys, you know, to get your stamina back up. I got it. He's almost dead. Almost. <laughs> but you can't get too far away from him, or he'll use the uh, range weapon. Oh, okay. Shoot you. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, oh, we oh, lost. Oh, damn. So close. Damn it. All right, we're going to have to reload, guys. Yeah, this just kind of sucks, but I'm glad that we saved it. I didn't actually lose to either of these two guys with my other character. My other character is a lot better than this one, though. Yeah. Um, I didn't lose, but, but I did lose to the uh, big gym guy. I mm -hmm. lost to him like three or four fucking times. 
That guy was so challenging. His, well, he seems heavily armored. Well, it wasn't just that I couldn't do the damage to him. It's that his weapon applies a uh, toxin to you, uh, which reduces your health. Oh, well, that's cheating. Yeah. Yep. That's his weapon fair. is extremely powerful. Like, two hits and you're dead. All right, let's fight this guy again. Uh, two hits and then you... And I, I was just... I didn't do very well in this fight here <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, two hits and you're dead. And then on top of that, yeah, oh, it just can't. slowly starts ticking your health away. Well, damn, that is right. cheating. Yeah. All right, so we got to roll as soon as we get in here. Yep. See, so he still gets you. He still gets you, yep. Oh, he applied something oh. to us, too. All right, but that's fuck? not good. Oh, come on, I'm eating. All right. Um, so our health is going up. We're just going to have to avoid him while our health goes up, because if he hits us a couple times, we're done for. Damn. Did he have the skull last time They're we fought him? cheating. Did he have that skull hey, last time? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think he did. I think he has a different weapon this time or something. Just random, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. That's what it seems like. Yeah, because he's doing more damage to us as well. Yeah, he seems tough. Ah, oh, we're done for. Yeah, he seems like uh, he can't get up here. <laughs> Pulls that gun out. Well, it looks like all he has is a little OP shooter. Still probably does more damage than we we can do. Get out of there. All right, let's get out of there. All right, so let's just try and avoid getting hit here. I can't do that, that attack. No, uh -uh. It just takes too long to swing up. Yeah, he's got a different weapon. He didn't have that weapon last time we fought him or the first time I fought this dude. So I wonder if, yeah, if their weapons are random. Maybe. Ooh, look at that dodge attack. Alright. So close. Yeah, we're pretty close to getting this guy killed. Just gotta hit him one more, like, chain. Ugh, got him. I can't see his health. There we go. Is awesome. He dead? And we leveled up. No, no, you just no. knock him out. Just <laughs> gotta wait for his ass to get up. Yep, you're done yeah. for. Alright, so yeah, he's a... Uh, and we're not gonna listen to this guy. Okay, so he wants to offer us a way to cheat um, with Big Jim. Uh -huh. However, we would have to pay, uh, which we're not going to do that. We don't need to do that. Although, I'm gonna... Poison to put on your blade. Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna do that. Uh, we're just gonna fight him. He wants like 500 oh, shards really? or something like that. Really? Yeah, fuck that. That's so, expensive. Every time we finish a fight, we uh, talk to Big Jim. And then suck About his dick, you. I guess. Yep, exactly. Um, we pull tug on those little <laughs> the chains that he has. That's what those are for, so you can grab on those oh, while you okay. like suck on it. Those Chinese finger trap things? Exactly, yep. Looks like gun. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get a little bit of money. We're not going to listen. Uh, I am going to start skipping through some dialogue, guys, because, man. The dialogue is well, so bad. Yeah, the last episode, the entire video was us talking uh, to people. Um, so when it's not, like, main things that we kind of want to know. Oh. Excuse me. I'd all right, like well, to fight you. <laughs> he turns around and pisses all over my foot. Like someone who knows all right, so, yeah, we're not going to talk to this guy either because he's not important. Um... And they're all trying to rip us off. Everybody wants to rip us off. <laughs> and this, that's one thing I've learned about the outcast. Um, outlaws. Outlaws, yeah. Is they all just want to rip you off. I mean, that makes sense. All right, so yeah, we want to fight this guy in the arena. So who's going to stand guard? Huh? We'll tell him after he's done, after we fight him. But I don't want to, if we tell him to go over there now, then he'll walk his ass over there. So we don't want to do that. So yeah, this guy's like stems. You can actually give him a beer before you fight. Yeah. And I think it might affect him. Yeah, I didn't have a beer the last well, time. Well, there's okay. a free beer back a there man. on the... Really? Yeah. Well, we might have a beer. Oh, we do. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. All right, so he gave us the beer back. I think we can yeah. try and... Oh, we can't. All right, we don't oh, have any abilities to make him drink. That's what happened. I had the beer last time. You can't peer pressure him. Into yeah, it. we don't have the like, charisma. What are you, a pussy? Yeah, we need a little bit more charisma if we're going to be able to do that. All right, just see you in the arena, buddy. Okay. We didn't save it, though. Um, <laughs> it did auto save. So, yeah, looks, yeah, yeah we might. All kinds of saving. Yeah, so we might be able to load. Let's just try not to die, though. Let's try and beat this guy. That'd I think I think Ike is actually oh, easier wait, than Gun. I could be could be wrong. Come on, buddy, get in here. Depending on his weapon. Yeah, I, I wonder if like the weapons that they have are random because that dude that we fought, Gun, he had a different ready weapon. Find out what a ready. All right, I'm Remember. ready. All right. All right, so he did a roll as soon as he started oh, as shit. well. He's quick. Yeah, he is very Ooh. ambitious here. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. Right, let's just swing at each other. Yeah, we're just going to swing. All right, nice. Took about half of his health down with that. That chain. Right. Oh, 
got him. But it didn't stop his attack. He doesn't do as much damage, though. Come on, do the triangle attack. Damn it. Nice. All right, so we defeated him. We also had a level that we could have used um, that would have helped us in this fight here. All right, we got to remember to level up. You good? Come on, Ike. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to have to teabag him. <laughs> Damn, Ike is not waking up. He's very sleepy. It looks like the huh. battle music's still going. Yeah. Kill the rat. It seems like something broke here. I guess we'll kill the rat. That's Ike. weird. Huh. Oh, there's an enemy outside. Is there? Oh. I'm with you. You go on. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Seems like... Oh, here we go. He's up now. <laughs> I'll wait here. All right, come here, Ike. What am I supposed to I don't know, and I don't care. You're going to go stand at the gate. And go stand at the gate. You to stand guard. What? Yep, that's your job now. You have so, failed as an arena fighter. Yeah, a regular set of oh, he looks so sad. He's actually happy about it because, uh, you know, we were talking about um, Spike extorting us uh -huh. and that he was, it was a con. It actually is their job uh, to get the money. Oh. So that's why he was happy about it because he can charge a little extra and make some money from it. Okay. Yeah, this is weird. We're well, clearly, there's yeah, there's there's the enemies area. outside that we're clearly in combat with, or it keeps saying that we are. Let's just take a look here. Is oh. it that guy, perhaps? The mutant? Yeah, the mutant? I don't know. That's what it looks like. All right, well, he's not in combat with us anymore. That's all. Yeah, that's odd. I don't know why he was able to, uh, like, engage with us Maybe from up he was here. attacking the merchant down there. Oh. Everyone was on high alert. Let's level up real quick. Um because we have the points. Uh, we're going to put it into, well, we're definitely going to put some of the strength. I think that'd be wise. We need to get our constitution up. I think we should get that up to, to 30 so that we can um, put some points into a few things. Um, and then we should probably put the dexterity up as well. I think that would be wise. All right, this is looking good. Let's go ahead and apply that. Uh, I don't know if this is going to let us equip any different weapons. Let's just take a look here. See if uh, we can get anything different no Jeez. we need quite a bit more strength it's very heavy apparently uh-huh to be able to equip that uh these ones are even worse well the two handed sword's not that bad 38 and 32 uh still a bit of a ways off though uh, can we get any of these new weapons over here no crossbow is 25 dexterity of the flamethrower 31 dexterity all right so we can't use any of those weapons unfortunately we might be able to uh Learn something, though, uh, from this guy. Let me just take a look. Is there... We can get heavy weapons now. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have any heavy weapons that we use. We can get parry strength. And I think that is it. We jet gotta, Yeah, attack. we need the jetpack attack. All right, so did you want to fight Big Jim? How much time do we have? I don't know. We have, like, A couple minutes. minutes? Yeah, we can try... We can try and fight him. Like I said, I, I failed many times trying to fight this guy before. He is extremely challenging. Or he was anyway. I guess he might have a different weapon this time. Uh, but yeah, when I fought him before, uh, yeah, I found him to be very difficult. Let's go ahead and talk to him and see if he wants to fight us. About the arena. I challenge you. Forget it. You're not ready to fight me. About the I fought Ike. I heard. And what does that get me? Oh, you're here to make a claim. Here, take your payout. I challenge you. So, you think you're ready to fight me, do you? I heard you beat Ike and Gun. Big round of applause. Well done, you. You think you're a fighter's fighter now, do you? All right, let's do this. You'll get your shot. Tell me when you're ready. I challenge you. I accept. Meet me at the arena. Alright. So this is going to be a challenging fight, guys. I don't um, know about this. Yeah, I mean, if we if we realize like we clearly out. can't beat oh, him, then we'll, uh, we'll just have to wait. Right. Let me sneak in over here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick his, his weapon out of his pocket. Did you know that you can... Oh, shit. He's already fighting us. Yeah, he's got that big old yeah. hammer looking thing. Damn. It's got uh, some reach, too. Yep, and he does have the skull. Damn. It says that he's difficult. Oh, we knocked his ass down. That's nice. That's embarrassing. Let's see if we can get him knocked over again. Lay down. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> we're doing pretty good. This is better than I did when I fought him myself. Yeah, we're doing oh, nice. Yeah. He just isn't swinging. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. 
Also, if I got hit by it a couple, once you get hit by it, like I said, he can take it you just out. Ticking. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't got hit not one time. Nice. Wow. That was a good job. I'm glad yeah. we fought him. That's Aww, embarrassing. Yeah. Aw, give that poor old man He's a really hug. upset. You got lucky. Want to go again? All right. All right. You were good. But you've cost me more than just this fight. No one's going to follow an ex-champ. No one's going to follow a loser. He'll never be leader now. You're giving up because you lost one fight? Nobody has ever defeated the Duke. Now they've seen you beat me. Do you think anyone is gonna choose me over him? Here, take this Alexit. Take it and get out before I ram those shards down your throat. Yeah, he's talking a lot of shit for a loser. Yeah, he's a sore loser. Yep, yeah. <laughs> he's salty as hell. He's not gonna be able, be able to be a leader anymore. Um, so we finished up the arena, guys. That's that's it. It's just those three <laughs> guys. I believe you can challenge other people to the arena, um, but I haven't seen any instances of that yet. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna go ahead and end the episode here, guys. That is it. I'm glad that we got something done this this episode. Um, leveled up some. How far are we from the next level? Because uh, we definitely need to get some levels uh, going here. We're going to probably do a few more quests here in Tavar, I think. Uh, because really, that's the key, guys, is doing quests. Or we could go back to uh, uh, the Berserker place. What's the Berserker yeah. place called? I have no idea. Abessa? <laughs> no, Abessa. <laughs> no, it's not. No, uh, Edan is the, the name of the land. Abessa is the one next to it. Um, I don't remember the name of the town there, though. Um, oh, Goliath. That's right. Oh, that's right. Dur y yep, the one that rhymes a toilet. Um, kind of. If you say it just <laughs> right. <laughs> so, maybe we can go back there. There's a lot of quests. We've actually finished a quest for Ragnar. Ragnar's quest. Uh, where he wanted us to go to those lands. You can take that pooch's meat. Yes, I am. Um, so yeah, we finished up that quest. So we could always go talk to him about that and get the experience and the money. I think you get like a thousand experience from that. Nice. So we might want to go talk to him. Uh, there's also all of the district leaders here that we can talk to. They all have like quests and shit for us to do for them so that's an option too uh but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the episode we're gonna end it here if you did like it please leave a like uh leave a comment love talking to you guys and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching